Washington Wildcats. Welcome back. We're your Wildcat TV crew. I'm Kinsley. I'm Jason. And I'm Grayson. This week's school tool is We Use Our Manners. We are looking for students to demonstrate that they understand what it means to use good manners and why we should use our manners. It is important to use good manners to show teachers, parents, and friends that we respect them. It is also nice to use good manners around others. Okay, so what do we expect our students here at Washington to do? We can say please and thank you when appropriate. Patiently wait their turn and share materials and responsibilities appropriately. Raise their hand and wait to be called on to speak and keep voices off when, uh, while others are speaking. Can you give me an example of using good manners? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see if these guys know what to do. Here, good to go. Thank you. May I also have a book right oh, you now? sure can. Thank you. All right, buddy. You're Thank good you. to go. You are may welcome. Can I get a book right? You sure can. Oh, please check out this book, Miss Dummy. You sure can. All right, you're may good to go. Right? You sure can. May I please um, check out this book? You sure can. May I please get a book right? You sure can. Thank you. You are welcome. Can I please check out this book? Thank you. Can you are get, welcome. Can I get a Absolutely. I think these guys did a great job of using their manners. And when we use our manners, it affects other people in, in a positive way. Another example could be a student asks a teacher, may I please use my Chromebook for this project? The teacher replies, yes, you ask so politely. The student replies with thank you. There are so many places and ways we can use our manners. I challenge you to use your manners, not just here at Washington, but in the community and at home. Are you up for that challenge? Our quote for the week, friends and good manners will carry you where money won't go. Margaret Walker. That's it for this week's school tool. We hope you all are earning those tickets. Here at Washington Elementary School, we strive to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. It's the Washington way! Yeah! <laughs> hey y'all, we're coming at you with the new word of the day. Today's word is demolish. This means pull or knock a state building or overwhelming defeat a player or a team. Let's take a look at what we should do in the gym each morning. As the speaker starts talking, everyone's attention should be on the speaker. That means we use whole body listening. Jason, what does that mean? Eyes watching the speaker, ears listening to the speaker, mouths, mouths quiet, and our bodies are still. Okay, but what if we are just walking in when the speaker has already started? Let's watch this next video to see if these students did the right thing. Okay, and I'm going to continue to talk. You should continue to have a voice level of zero. Okay, that's how this works. And this is excellent practice for us for tomorrow because tomorrow afternoon we've got a goal getter tonight. Okay, so we want to make sure that. I'd say yes, they did the right thing. Walking to your spot quietly and sitting down. Yep, it's that simple. Notice that I said walking. Okay, I think if I can go with my fifth grade, hold on just a second. I'm not going to go see you. All right, so this time, fifth graders are going to let you go ahead and stand and face the flat. Third and fourth grade, we're going to go ahead and stand and face the flat. We are helping Z 
for their St. Jude Radio. Z100 has a goal for 1 million pennies. Will you help us, Washington Wildcats? Alright, here is our bad dad joke. Where do pirates get their hooks from? Where? The, the second hand store! We challenge Mrs. S. Hey everybody, guess what? It is time to reveal the first clue for reading day, okay? Well, we're going to reveal it in a different way. So, guess what? I've got Mr. Betts here today to help us out. Okay? All right, so here we go. So here's the deal. Mr. Betts always gives you challenges in PE. I've given him a challenge. So he's going to take these objects right here, and he is going to be doing some different things with them. Whenever he gets the first word to our reading day, I'm going to whistle. If it goes along with the reading day, I'm not going to whistle. So then you can put together. So anytime I whistle, think about what he's doing and what he has, okay? All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh could it be? Let's try it. Oh, oh. oh, man. All right, here we go, Mr. Betts. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, all right. Woo. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, dinosaurs. Mm. Mm. Mm, not whistling. Oh, what else you got? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, what are, oh, oh, let's see if this goes along along with our theme. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. He got a Woo! All right, all right. What else we got? Mmm. Okay. Oh, let's see. We've got a scooter. Hmm. Oh, let's see. No. Uh -oh. Ah, got it. Nothing. No whistle. No. Oh, okay, that doesn't go along with our theme. Hmm. Let's see. We got a jump rope now. Okay. They, uh oh. Oh. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, hope he don't hurt himself. Hope he don't hurt himself here. Oh. Oh, no whistle. No. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? We got a soccer ball. Okay. Oh, oh, let's see. We got a soccer ball. We're going in for the... Woo! Woo! All right, Wildcat fans. Get ready. Reading day is coming soon. We just have revealed. Can you guess it? The first word. Next week, we're revealing everything. All right, keep guessing. We'll see you guys. <laughs>